Whether you're new to skating or you've never been before, these essential skating skills for beginners will help you, including how to skate forwards and how to skate backwards, as well as steering and turning control, getting up off the floor, stopping, gliding longer on one foot, and how to fall with style so you don't end up looking something like this when you go to the rink. Whoops, let's go. Let's kick things off with the basic position. Your head should always stay over your feet, even when you bend your knees. You should practice turning out your toes and in your toes for later on. That position will be the same position when you're gliding along. So the first thing to do is to really get used to stepping around on the ice so you can rotate and get used to turning out your toes. Try these quarter turn steps by opening your hip and turning out your toe one side making a quarter turn and bringing your feet back together. Do this both ways to find your balance before we start. If you're not very comfortable yet, you can use the barrier or you can do little steps like this. You want to progress into bigger steps like this so you're not shy of lifting your foot off the ice. If you stumble at any point, make sure you get low and have a wide stance with your feet, kind of like a ninja. Forward skating, turn your toes out and basically we're going to push in a slight zigzag pattern like this. We do this to avoid toe pushing with the toe pick at the end of your skate, that's that little spiky bit. Now before you start gliding, it's a good idea to have a go at marching, so not trying to glide, just keeping your toes turned out and stepping forward like so. Once you've done a few steps and start to move, you can bring your feet together into a little glide. This process is repeated into what we call forward stroking, which is where you'll spend longer on each foot. You can see me here leaning over the skating foot from side to side with what I call a tip tock. From side to side, move your weight very slightly over the skate that you want to glide on as you're gonna spend more time there than you would just walking down the road. That's what helps you get that glide. Don't forget our basic position whenever you glide. Step, 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 basic position, glide and just keep repeating this process. As you get more confident, your gliding will get longer and your speed will increase. So I think it's at this point we should look at how to get up just in case it all goes wrong. If you fall on the floor, like this, the best way to get up is to get onto your knees, put one knee up and push on your knee with two hands so you can get up onto your feet. So you're fallen over, you roll over onto your front, one knee, and we're going to push with the back foot and both hands on the knee straight up onto two feet. Or you can grab the nearest pedestrian or barrier to you. Now when we want to try this moving, you can actually practice this yourself. Lower yourself down onto your knees and you can practice getting off the floor. Practicing falling over sounds a bit silly, but it's actually the best way to gain your confidence of how to fall without hurting yourself and how to get up confidently. The dip down for balance is something that's used in most learn to skate programs around the world. And this is to lower your center of gravity by bending your knees without leaning too far forward. So again, the idea is to keep your head over your feet. Do it from a small glide, try to touch your knees, your toes, and even the ice if you're feeling really confident. Things to avoid is standing up too fast, or you might wobble like this. You want to make sure from that dip position is that you come up nice and easy. Now at some point you're going to have to learn how to stop and not rely on the barrier or you'll end up like me here. And we don't want to do that because it can become expensive. Whoop, new camera needed. So we're going to learn the snowplow stop. It's the most basic stop as it's done on two feet and it looks like this. So you're going to start on bent knees. We're going to lift up and out at the same time to get both feet to slide. Well, that's the plan anyway. What you might want to do is start with one foot at a time. You do that by putting more weight on one foot than the other and trying to brush the ice with the other foot. Then try it on two. Turning and slalom. The basic turning idea with skating is to steer from your shoulders and let your hips follow. You can twist to steer or lean to steer. I'm showing you a little bit of both here, so whatever you're comfortable with and also how fast you're going will make a difference on how much you can lean. 
but basic idea is the kind of like riding a bike steer to the left steer to the right and your feet should follow a slalom is when you're able to bend your knees and keep the momentum going so you have to start with a good run up and use the slalom itself to propel yourself along going slightly wider is easier to start with but the end goal is to be able to do the slalom with your feet closer together you also want to avoid over twisting your shoulders as this can make you a little bit wild and out of control feet together nice knee bend at the top of each curve this is what we're after okay let's look at backwards skating in the same way you started forwards we can do a marching step first this time the toes are turned in change your weight from one foot to the other in a backward marching pattern after a few steps into your glide toes in step 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 little steps to start with then move your weight from side to side see if we can get that glide going just like you did forward we start learning how to skate backwards from very very early on in our skating programs and it's something you should definitely attempt if you're going to try and skate more often one foot skating is the basis of everything we do for more advanced skating off of two feet you need to get the hang of this quite early on as well and the way we do that is to lean and lift lean your weight onto one foot before you lift the other one up then it's not a gamble whether you're balanced or not thank you for watching i'm paul from ice skate coach check out the website icegatecoach.co.uk for free videos online courses and many more things to help you with your skating journey and check me out on instagram as well at ice coach i'm dropping ice skating videos daily for you guys don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next video